So here's my 98 Lincoln Mark 8 with a heat and air conditioning problem. Last fall when I bought it, well it's actually winter, it was February, I bought it in Pennsylvania, had to drive it home and the heat was definitely lacking. It blew warm but not hot at all forever to warm up and these cars are known for the uh, blend door actuator cracking breaking just failing in general usually when that happens the uh, you get no heat at all and it was getting heat so I really didn't think it was that so I didn't really drive it the rest of the winter and in the summer I had the air conditioning serviced and the air conditioning was quite lacking too it, it blew cool but not cold I mean over there you can see my 97 that thing is like a freezer in the summertime and this one not so much so I decided to check out the uh, blend door anyway once I got under the dash this is what I found so really I didn't get too far under the dash but up can you see that white lever right here that's not the blender actuator, but it's whatever it connects to. And that, you can't, I don't think I can get it in the camera. Oh, you can see it hanging down right there. Piece broke off, broke right off of this. And this would be the heat position. And it only has a little bit of a swing to it, but then that would be air conditioning. So it's not actually the actuator, it's what I, it's the other piece that it connects to. They call it the gray arm or whatever. And it's kind of funny because what happens is the reason you get a little bit of heat and a little bit of air, when the blower's on, it'll actually blow this up a little bit. And it'll give you like a 50-50 mix. So it looks like it's going to be a real project to get it. The part's only $5 probably hours to get it because you have to take well they say to do the blend door actuator you take you can take the message center out and the switches here and you can get to it but by the looks of that I'm gonna have to take the whole dashboard out and move the heater over because because this piece right here is gonna be in the way I don't, oh, it might clear that. I might get lucky. Because really, in the book, in the book, they tell you you have to take everything, oh my God, everything out of it. But there are people that say you can get into it if you just take this out. So, I think I'm going to temporarily fix it now. Just wire tie that open until I get the part. It's going to be quite a project. And I'll probably replace the actuator too because I'm sure once I hook that back up, it's going to put the stress on the actuator and probably break that. Must be a kind of a common problem because this is my 97, the one that was sitting out front. And just for the heck of it, I figured I'd take a look at this one and look what I find. It's been wire tied together. But this one works fine. And I've had the car for five years and it's never given me any trouble, so you don't fix what ain't broke. So I'm back at the 98 here and I'm going to see if I can get a wire tie around that just to hold it down. That way at least I'll have some heat, although once the, once the salt gets on the road here I don't drive this car anymore anyway. But for now, that's what I'm going to do. Well, it took me two, but I got it. So now at least I'll have some heat for the winter. I got the part coming. It's only a $5 piece, but boy, does it look like quite a project to get to. Well, I hope this helps somebody out because I find a lot of information on the no heat, but not the uh, low heat or low AC output. Anyway, good luck to you. Have fun with it.